All right, somehow, some way, you found Hot Dish Hockey live on the YouTube. We're in Faribault here, Apple Valley, Burnsville. Eagles starting out going right to left in the brown and gold. East Metro Stars going left to right in the white. Sky Genstad holding the zone for the Eagles. He hooked up uh, Seth Kabir. Burchill, good play on defense there from Burrett. Chilly outside. Takes a shot. Face off in the star zone. I tell you, I was legit signed up for locker room duty tonight here, and I thought the game was a little later than it was. Straight up 5 o'clock, we rolled in at about 4.15. But shout out to Ron Oster for uh, getting my back there. Austy sitting there in his flannel. Good God, this group is especially loud in the locker rooms. Austy's. And that's Frickman holding the zone. Now good D and Stieg Pearson. Stieg looking for Joe Dirt. Now Stieg with the backhand. Couldn't connect. Back out. There's Ostie. He takes a good shot. Glove saved by number one in net. It's all right. Good pressure from the Eagles. Looks like they're going to swap everybody out. Take that back. It's just a three up front. And now, uh, is there a little gamesmanship here in the first period of this uh, Pee Wee B affair from the coaches? Steve. And Joe Hendall. Whistle dead with 12.05 left. First period, 12.05, zero, zero. So I did have an opportunity to get to know this uh, group of kids a little bit more. As I got to see them off the ice.
Ah, back to where I was going with that one, Virgil. I was asking some of the kids what they're, if they have any nicknames, and he said, Bird's chilly outside. I, yeah, it took me a minute too. But the thing, Bird chill. Bird chill. Bird, it's chilly. Bird chilly. Bird, it's chilly outside. Because it's actually a, a beautiful this December 1st day of the year. Oh, so in the locker room, I say, Jake, those are awesome socks. And you're thinking, well, kids 12 years old, what could be awesome about the socks? Well, just the fact that I was wearing the same pair. Look at that. So look for uh, Jake the Snake to come away with two, maybe three goals. He's going to be on the score sheet a bunch. These guys are kind of late starters. That's Joe Dirt working in the corner, number zero. Three, back to Ostie. Here's Ostie. Takes a shot. He's tipped by one of the stars. Got Stieg and Ostie on D. Number three, Millis takes it in. Nice save. Ten and a half minutes left in the first period. Osti. Osti. Nice moves. Dumps it into the zone, then chases it down. Look at that. Back to Osti. He's on today. Good work, Ryan. Off the boards for Frickman. Got hung up along the boards, and they're going to get Jose Manchado offside. 9.48 left, first period, scoreless. We face this team in Minneapolis. And it was a really close game. I want to say the Stars came out on top by one or two goals. But it was tied all the way. Another whistle with 9.36. Brickman wins it back to Sky. Gem staff to Joe Hindall. Coming up along the boards. Hindall with Brickman and McNellis. Goalie saves it. Low shot. Right idea, looking for the rebound. 9.19 left. First period. Fritzy's going to take the draw. He's got Joe Dirt at left wing. Uh, the Snake, Larson, and Sky, Genstad on D. Snake Larson now winds up, low shot. There's a rebound. Fritzy. Sky Jim's dead now. Over to Fritzy. Another save from number one in the net for the Stars. 8.38 left, first period. Good 
These guys have been slow starters all year, and after being locker room attended and seeing what happens before the game, I get it. That, but that one goes. <laughs> Woo! But it's chilly outside. That's Burchill. I told him if he got a goal, we were going to go with that one. Leo Burchill gets the Eagles on top first. 8.35 left, first period. Eight sixteen. We're gonna keep Pearson and Osti on D. Fritzy and Joe Dirt and Millis out there. That was not the uh, kid-friendly version there, a house of pain. So we've got uh, the Eagles are on a power play. With eight minutes left, and there's a minute 40 left. That was Steve Pearson putting the pressure on. Austin now going to regroup for the Eagles. Minute and a half left in the advantage. Osti gets a shot off, fully tracks it in, glove save, 737 left, 122. And power play for the Eagles. Swapping five out now. We've got Sky Jenstad. Jake, back to Jake the Snake now. He's got an opening, lets it go. Tipped by the Stars, 25, it almost went in. Snake Larson now has his shot deflected. Joe Hindall catches it, drops it, gets it over to Sky. Now back the other way. Here come the starts shorthanded. One minute left in the penalty. Whistle dead. So the Eagles going right to left in the dark. Have 58 seconds left on their power play. And that's Kadir winning the faceoff, taking it himself, staying on side. Here comes Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt! Big blocker save, and then no, it's still loose. Good job from the refs not blowing that dead. Thirty seconds left in the penalty against the Stars. Here come the Eagles. Oh, Sky with a ni nice pass. Over to Millis. Millis looking for Joe Dirt, who's camped out in front. Puck's frozen with six seconds left on the power play for the Eagles. 6.22 left in the first period. Face off down the star zone. We're going to have Frickman taking the draw. He's out there with Hindall, Burchill, who has the goal. Osti playing great tonight, sends another hard low shot in. Hindall with the rebound behind the net now. Ooh, centering, looking for Burchy. Good job from Steve there to hold the zone.
the other night I was camped out right behind Big Ben. I got some great saves. That's a tough loss to Eastview. Down 2-1 with uh, a couple three minutes left. And uh, a couple of unfortunate breaks, we'll say. I won't even say it was the officials. Obviously, that's not an excuse. But tight game, tough one to lose. Ended up losing 3-1. Headed over to St. Thomas Academy where Eastview was playing the cadets. 4-1 final there for Eastview. So shout out to the Lightning taking care of St. Thomas last night at the varsity level. 4-1. And tonight the Apple Valley Eagles open their season at home. Good luck to those guys. I got all the updates at Westwood today. I'll tell you more about that, my conversation with Mike at the Wood. Here. Four and a half minutes. Your local hockey community icon, Westwood Sports. All right, I've got another audio guy up here, so it's a fortuitous bounce for you guys. I'm gonna. Tone it down a little bit. See, this guy's, he's got like more going on. No. All my equipment fit in my back pocket on the way. He's doing a sound test. I would fail every one of those. Like, no, we can hear you. Just failing the sound. 350 left. Back to hockey. Big pass for 78 off the boards. He's got speed. Round behind the net. Over the top. Snake Larson. Here comes the snake. He's got the pink sock tape on. He goes up to Joe Dirt. Jose Manchado into the zone. He's with Sky. Fritzy. Shot. Millis, big save. Sky winds up and another big save. A little bit of action in front of the net there with Fritzy. Three thirteen left, first period. Face off coming in the star zone. Now uh, Steph Beer on the draw. 3.07 left. Padir, Hendall, Burchill, Sky Jenstad, and Snake Larson. Joe Hendall controlled that one and was looking for Burchill. He's putting himself, Burchill is putting himself in a great position like I haven't seen the whole season. He's rewarded with the only goal of the game, 246. Snake fires one. It's like a teardrop. There's a teardrop shot in basketball. Is there a teardrop shot in hockey? There is. He just did it. He may have coined it, actually. Oh, to deer! Holy moly. I'll wake you up. 2 nothing. Steph Kadir. Puts the Eagles up. 2 nothing. 222. 222 left. 2 nothing. What number is he? 2 2. Boski. Trying to regroup, but he's, you know, giving chase. And uh, 29 from the Stars was rewarded for the hustle. Gets the puck, makes the sweet dish. 
And uh, shot goes just wide right. Little action, along, little action along the boards there. Steve waits for everybody to get on side. Good job. Over to Osti now. Osti sends it in for the Eagles. I'm going to move down a little here. I literally have a rubber band attaching my phone to the tripod that's been used like six times. I'm trying to give our professional here a little more uh, elbow room, a little less nasally voice. All right, here we go. 57 seconds left. Two nothing, Eagles. So the stars are on a power play here. Now, yeah, which means they have five skaters to uh, Apple Valley's four. If you're new to the game, they send the guy to timeout. Big move, 78 from the stars, but not as big as this save. Big Ben, who, by the way, told me he's linker now. He says, hey, if you let Big Ben fly every once in a while, it's cool. But uh, going to start going with Linker. I said, what about Link Star? Elon Musk has Starlink. How about Ben has Link Star? And I said, no, Linker. So Linker, unless I get excited and Big Ben comes out. That'll do it for the first period. Sit tight. I got to get settled in. It was a rough transition from locker room monitor to... Uh, you know, amateur broadcaster, which by the way, now that we're in between, because a lot of the, the uh, feedback I get is you talk too much um, about yourself and not as much about the kids or the game. Well, the game I can explain because I don't know much about the game. Uh, I'm your resident ignoramus, if you will. Somebody called me that once and it stuck. Uh, I just... You're going to get your money. Sir. How about that? Say it enough. All right. We'll look at the Eagles. Right back. Okay, and you're streaming only for... Are you streaming for all the tournaments? Or for oh, Minnesota sorry. Hockey? Or... I'm with Hot Dish Hockey. With Hot Dish Hockey. <laughs> All right, so the goals coming from Bur Burchill. Bur it's chilly outside in Kadir. And uh, about the only thing I have to say about that is that I look real good today. 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 All right, so we did uh, change direction here. That was Big Ben with the save. 
your eagles here in the dark brown and gold. Going left to right against the stars in their light sweaters. Going right to left. That's the other direction. Both teams come out. A little fired up. I like it. Fritzy. Fritzy controls behind the net now. Tries to wrap it around. Hits Millis. Millis has a shot. 13.57 left. Second period. Let's go, Osti! Osti's having one of the best games I've ever seen from him. So Kadir for the Eagles going to take the draw. He's got one of the goals. He's out there with Joe Hindall. To his left is Burchill. Burchill has the other one. Osti chases that one down. And now with speed. Good move. Osti, coast to coast. Dishes it back for Burchill. Hindall saves it for the Eagles. Osti. Tape to tape for Kadir, just can't connect. And now here goes Burchill. He's already got one. Gets a nice move between the legs of the defender. And then kind of a slow roller that gets the goalie covered up with 1306. Rickman. Joe Dirt. Mills. Rickman won the draw. Whoa. I remember that one. 12.55 left in the second period. It looked like there was a two-hander. Would have been a hefty high stick. Now the other way. Nice work from Snake. Frickman. Good work from Frickman. Into the corner. Willis. Millis. Good work there from number three. Oh! Just out hustling. Oh, Snake with the big wind up on the clapper. Came out kind of like a uh, change up though. Big Ben gets down and I think made the save on that one. His glove was behind his pad, and it was one of those where he kind of was looking behind him a little bit, but he came up with it. 11.52 left. Second period, 2-0 Eagles. Face-off in the Apple Valley end. We're going to have Fritzy out there, Steve Pearson, Osti, Burchill. And I think that's Hindall out there. Yeah, all right. Getting them down. I had a weird deal where I was uh, had committed to live stream a Bantam A program and uh, was asked not to. Not to. Uh, my son was on that team, ends up making a high school team, and I guess that's understandable. And obviously, people playing hockey and Bantams, second year Bantam, I guess that's a thing. But it was weird to leave a team. We were on a five-game win streak. They were all coming together, playing hard. That was a shot from Hindall or Pearson. Not sure which one. Love save. 
long story short, had to, uh, you know, explain to his coach that he wouldn't be continuing. Osti was tripped into the boards, goes head first, keeps his head up, and then retaliates a little bit, and you know that's the one they call. Hey, good hustle, Osti. Good work. So 10.53, second period. Eagles are up 2-0 on the Stars. Face-off coming in the Eagles zone, and they're going to be down a skater. I guess we're we're uh, five on five. So they send Joe Dirt in. Thirty one. So they got. Uh, they got them both, so they keep it five on five. Millis over to Joe Dirt on the one timer goes left. Sky 28 from the start stepped up, blocked out one back the other way. Gemstat with Joe Dirt. There's Jose Manchado coming across, goes back in, still loose. Joey controls it behind the net now. Tries to get it out to Jimstad. Joe Hindall now. Oh, what the beautiful lob pass, Sauce. Oh, the Sauce and the one-timer and Joey connected with it. But uh, I think that one might've gone high. Man, what a play from Hindall, the two Joes. Is that Sky? Or is it Snake? Somebody. This is how I, that's my memory, the short term. No short term, no long term. Beautiful saucer pass. Watch that one again. 9.15 left. They call that applesauce, I think, if Joey had hit found the back of the net on that one. Okay. Sometimes in hockey, I've heard them call an assist an apple. For those of you with the low hockey IQs like me. Rickman. Pumps the brakes, hit it over to Hendall, and they're going to get somebody for a slash. With 8.34 left second period. Shots on goal, according to the scoreboard, say 21 for the Eagles and 3 for the Stars. Clearly, somebody's keeping track of them. I don't know how accurate that person is. 8.34, second period. 2 nothing Eagles. They're going left to right. 
And what a breakout for Millis. He's having a great game. Number three, wind moves. Go over to the backhand. Trying to go five-hole and a close-up quick. Great save. Oh boy, 47 with speed, Osti trying to catch up, got his stick in there, they're gonna, that's all right, Osti. That's all right, that's a good play, 8-10 left, got his stick in there, did what he had to do, did just enough of what he had to do. Get him for tripping or something. 810. Oh, we're gonna get a penalty shot. That's what all the the Hall of Blues about. There we go now. 47 for Metro Stars against Linker. Big Ben. You gotta come with more than that if you wanna get by Big Ben. Big Ben knows what time it is. The linker keeps it to nothing. So five on four, nonetheless, for another minute and a half. Big Ben with the stick save, getting a little chippy in front of the net. Now that's good. Both these teams want to win. 7.53 left second period. We got Joe Dirt out there. We got Kadir out there. We got Osti and Pearson. That's a pretty good uh, lineup out there to try to kill this one. 119 left in the penalty. Face off in the Eagle zone. Stars control behind the net. Kadir steps up behind the net. Staff over to Joe Dirt now along the boards. Oh, Osti steps in front of that one. Good hard nosed D. Now Joe Dirt with speed and the new steals we got from Westwood Sports. Shout out Westwood, the woods since 1976. Local hockey community icon, Steve Pearson. Had his shot deflected high. 6.55 left in the second period. 15 seconds left in penalty for the Stars. That one's on net for Big Ben. He'll freeze it. 6.45 left, 11 seconds. Good shift from the Eagles there. So I went in to get steals and like everything. Look, and I'm showing my age by being one of those people that's just complaining about how expensive things are. But because I'm MVP there at Westwood. Got some new steals here for uh, Joe Dirt. Got to visit with Mike. We caught up. Bird is playing tonight. Varsity, first game, Apple Valley Eagles. Open it up tonight at like 7 at home. Good luck to those guys. Oh, my. Glove save. Big Ben flashes the leather. Tracked it all the way in through four or five different screens. He's got x-ray vision. Virgil working hard. Burgi, he's got one of them already. We're back to full strength, by the way. Six minutes left, second period. Snake has his shot deflected. And then Sky says, no problem, I got you, bud. Sky's Mr. Consistency. Here's Burchi. 
he was trying to center it there for uh, Fritzy. Fritzy, Fritzy, nice move goes to the left and club side. Gets it by him. Three nothing Eagles, 507. Three goals. Three of my favorite Eagles. That one goes to Fritzy, number 10. From 19, that was Hindall. And Millis, who's having a great game, says, I want some of that goes just high. And player down, 449 left, second period. So again, shout out to uh, Mike Benakin, Bird's dad uh, at Westwood Sports. By the way, I go in, I said, I saw you had some hats. The Wood, established 1976. I said, you know what else? Who else was established 1976? Yours truly. The Wood established me, however. In 1976, he said, hot ish hockey. I'm going to give you the MVP price on that hat. And he did. And that is why Westwood is an iconic business for the local hockey community. And he, he even, this doesn't seem appropriate. We'll be right back. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. All right, so I'm there. I get to, the mic decides to take me a place that not too many people go. Down into the back, there's a stairwell that goes down into the basement. I remember years ago, he said, I can't show you what's down. That's all he said. I've always thought, what could possibly be down there? So we start heading back that way. I got to say, I'm a little bit uh, concerned for my safety at this point. He's, 
I start to go down. So he said, no, I told you years ago, you're not allowed to go down there. I wanted to show you what's painted above on the stairwell though, right here, the wood. Look at this, one of the employees, they love it so much. This was volunteer work from what I understand. For fun, the wood, the nickname they came up with for Westwood Sports, and it's sticking, boys. They made hats. But, oh, what I want to show you is, was this guy, can you see that? There was, uh, somebody took a sponge, did a little sponge finish there. Those are the kind of people you're going to work with at Westwood Sports. They could have quit right then, there. They probably should have said, Mike, I'm going to charge you for this graffiti. And but they, they did it the right way, above and beyond, with the sponge finish on the mural. Shout out. I'm done now with the wood. Established 1976. Local hockey community icon. Joe Dirt now. Four minutes even left, second period. Three nothing for the Eagles. Joe Dirt along the boards. Behind the net and just, I mean, why aren't you giving it to Osti? Kids playing lights out. Wide open on the blue one. Millis, another good game, had some good opportunities, put good pressure on. Here he is again, taken down in front of the net, going to let him play through it. It's still loose. Joe Dirt's hacking away. We've got eight guys on the ice in front of the net. Eight. And there was a slew foot. Three seventeen left in the second period. Frickman will take the face off for the Eagles. He's out there with Hindall, Burchill, Sky Jimstad, and Snake Larson on the blue line. Kadir. No, that's Burchill. Oh, that's number two for Burns Chili outside. Burn, give me a bowl of chili. <laughs> Leo Burchill gets on the. Gets his second one of the night. It's 4 nothing Eagles. It's having a game. Good job, Birchie. Said keep him out there. Shoot. That now is taking the face off. Oh, no, it's Frickman. All right, Joe Hindall. Birchie's out there at left wing with two of them tonight. Player of the game so far. That snake deflected off of I don't know who. Five nothing now. Floodgates open. T twenty seven left second period. Eagles up. Five love. Here who got that one. Eagles looking really good here to a team that um, we fell to in a close game a few weeks back. We're up 5 nothing, and Big Ben Link, the linker, hasn't seen much action except for the, uh, you know, the penalty shot. It's one of the most exciting moments in sports from what I understand. I agree. Pritzy. I made a rookie move and didn't go to airplane mode. I might have lost. Yeah, I got a phone call there. Yeah. 
I'm sorry about the voice too, but it is what it is. Joe Dirt now with speed splits the defenders, gets his shot, goes backhand. You betcha. Just like Daddy tells him to. Six nothing. Nice job. Jose Manchado. Joe Dirt goes coast to coast on that one with speed and effort. Six one. 34 seconds left. They're running the clock now. Best time to score a goal is right after one scored, right? Good job, Joe Dirt. And now, Virchil says, how about the Hattie? That's the kind of guy he is, though. He's a pass-first guy. He's over there looking for Hindall in front. Hindall sends a shot in to end the second period. That'll do it for the second period. Apple Valley, Burnsville. Eagles up by five. Sit tight. Get your popcorn. Whatever it is you want to do. Libations. I don't care. It's Friday night. Do what you got to do. But this one goes out to Birchie. I look real good today. 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 All right, Eagles going to be going right to left here for the final final period. The period between two periods, the uh, Eagles were rocking out to Neil Diamond, and I got to say, like it, 20 years ago, maybe third, maybe longer. That's just something I wouldn't have guessed. Staying power from Neil Diamond. Here we go, third period, 15 minutes on the clock. Eagles up, 6-1. Joe Dirt with the last goal. He's in, right in front of us playing left. Frickman wins the draw back to him. And uh, Millis is playing right wing. Sky Jinstat and Snake Larson on D. Big Ben with the big blocker save. The linker. You know how I know this guy next to me is a professional? Because he's done 23 sound checks. I don't think he's impressed with my rubber band around the phone on the tripod. But you're getting what you pay for here today. More than what you paid for is the Eagles are up 6-1. If you're into watching your grandkids score goals, I guess that is. Here we go. Shout out to the grandparents. Where are you? Are you in Florida? I don't know if we got grandparents in Arizona, maybe. Put it in the comments. Maybe maybe you're on vacation. Maybe Hot Dish Hockey is an international broadcast at this point. Let me know. Maybe you're in North Carolina or, I don't know, Alabama, Georgia. There's a lot of states that are warmer than Minnesota. It's a good day today, though. There's Birchie. Taken down. They're like, we can't stop this kid. Just chop his feet off.
Nice job of the D for the Eagles. Fritzy now. He's got speed. Passes it along the boards, looking for Genstad. comes Joe Dirt. He's got speed. He goes back to his backhand move. Goalie says not again. Giving him the business. He lost his stick and Joey says, well, you got no stick now. And then uh, a little bit of extracurricular. They're, they're just asking each other how their Thanksgiving was. Seeing what they're doing tonight. 12 minutes running clock. Eagles up five. I figured out what it was. You know, you see these kids, how do you get in the head of a kid? But they just, you know, they like all of us go through slumps maybe for one reason or another, aren't playing great. Joey wasn't tying the skates tight enough. Now, number three, the other way. Still loose in front. Little early whistle. It's all right, it happens. 11.15, running clock. We get uh, five fresh skaters. Genstad to Hindall. Hindall to Burchill. Burchill looking for his Hattie. I spent as much time and effort preparing for this deal. I mean, I think we got Fox Sports North here, or Valley, or Bravo, or whatever they are now. 9.48 in a running clock. Look at this. I'm looking for Audra Martin to come in here, maybe. Maybe Paul Allen, 9.35. I think that was Paul Allen. Oh, boy. <laughs> Big Ben. Couldn't do much with that one. It was uh, just a nice drive coming right at him. Good move. Ben goes low. He went high. Might have been deflected up to in front of the net, I think. They're still running the clock. 6-2. I love it that it's our guys. We're up 6-2. Our guys on the ice are saying, why is the clock running? Right? They just want to play. That's all. They're having fun out there tonight.
Fritzy. He's got one. Jake the Snake goes to Joe Dirt. Oh boy. A lot of contact there on the boards, so letting them play. Snake says, get out of here. Fritzy with Joe Dirt. Genstad now. Great shot from Genstad. Slow shot. Some nice glove save. I'm telling you, this guy just. I gotta find out what he's getting paid because. I'm telling you, I, I think I could make a career of this. I'm going to make a good run at it. I can't even keep a straight face. There we go. Stars the other way. Genstad. Steady Eddie. Nice shot from the sky there. Bully didn't see it. Happened to be in the right place. 620. Running clock. Kadir out there at center. He'll take the face off for the Eagles. He's out there with Birchie. Left wing. He's got two of them. Hindall. Back to Osti. Osti with a nice shot. He gets blocked in front of the net. And we've got uh, Steve Pearson who steps up with the clap bomb. Oh, we got a glass liquor. How on there? It's the glass liquor of the game. Your glass liquor of the game is brought to you by Westwood Sports, your local hockey community icon since 1976. We got 535 left in the game. I like it. Oh, we got a guy hurt. Oops. My mistake. I didn't know we had uh, somebody hurt, and I'm making glass liquor comments here, but... Uh, Look, I, I didn't force this upon you. You chose to be here for some reason, okay? So like that Joaquin Phoenix or Joaquin Jaquam Phoenix? There's a documentary about him called I'm Still Here. And basically what he does to the music business is, is what hot dishes to hot. Alright? Fair enough. Don't watch it with the kids. Don't watch Letter Kenny with the kids either. Although I'm not ashamed to say it's uh, one of my favorites all time. Oh my, 12 minutes full. What is this? It's a 2 and 10.
heck, you know, it's like, what, okay, you got the low hockey IQ like me and saying, what's a two and ten? I'm like, don't know. But if you are watching and do know what it is, leave it in the comments. 12 minutes of total penalties I heard. That's what I heard. Here's, here's what else I heard. Oh, I thought that one was going to go. Charge the net loose 5 3. And now the clock is running. They're still running the clock. It's got to be. I mean, I love that they, you know, think they're going to hammer four homes. Four goals, you know, in the last five minutes when they've only got two in the first 40, right? Like a, oh my gosh, Austin. Takes one for the team, and you don't have to stop the game for him. He's going to crawl off if he has to. If he's got both of his legs cut off, he's going to get off of the ice. But talk about taking one for the team. That might be one of your players of the game right there. Ryan Osti might not be on the score sheet, but what a game. And even though they're up four and the clock is winding down, much to the chagrin of the um, folks, that don't want it to be. He still takes that puck right in the chin, looks like. Like he's working out. If Jody's watching at home, looks what a game he's having. Just goes to show that they don't always show up on the score sheet, although I think he's got an assist with you. 33 left. And the advantage uh, for the Stars here with four minutes left. And this is Fritzy. <laughs> Big Ben. And then a, a kick save. And then Jake the Snake with a good stick. Ossie got hit right above the right pad. That uh, lower quadricep area. Also known as a dead leg or a Charlie horse. I think in that area. Three minutes. So, as always, shout out to all the Aussies worldwide, wherever you may be. Here comes Virgil. Up to Fritzy. Fritzy's got one. He's looking for another. Goalie comes out. Big save. Nice, aggressive play from number one in net. But he better get back there. Because Sky Jinstad just ripping and gripping, sniping. Joe Dirt went back to Pearson, back to Dirt, then back to Sky, who gets the low hard shot, keeps it loose. Good job, guys. Just like they drew it up in practice, I'm sure. Bully gets his glove on it. Two minutes left. Nice job, guys. Good work. Moving it around. So shout out to La Puga, wherever you might be. That kind of reminds me of a little section I call segment called Mina Spaniola. Okay, it's Minnesotan Spanish kind of. I think that 
Latin language, the Spanish language, Espanol, with a uh, northern accent, Espanol, okay? Min Espanola, word of the day, is holy buckets, all right? Holy bu buckets, cubos sagrados. So another characteristic of the Min Espanola, cubos sagrados. Sagrados, the rolling R. Minnesotans are afraid of it. I think there's like a little, it, it feels dirty. Okay, Minnesota nice, conserve. Don't talk like that. Don't use that rolling R. The sagrados. Oh my. So it's a little spicy. But we're trying to ease into it with a few words we can handle, and hence, Men Espanola word of the day. Cubos, Sagrados. Just try it, Sagrados. Holy buckets. Fritzy. That'll do it. That's your final 6 2. Eagles looked strong tonight. Just so much better than what we've seen lately i think that it all came together and you know what it is it's coaching it's coaching and it's parenting and grandparenting so shout out to all of the above happy friday night happy december what a beautiful way to start december huh sunny i could get to some of the leaves that i should have had done at the end of october whatever it, this is what they say you talk too much adios y vaya con Dios en Dios. LOL.